And welcome back to Who Would Win. So I didn't do yesterday's Who Would Win, some time constraints. Uh, so I figured I'd just do them all today. The two I have with standing, or uh, I have um, currently on hold right now. And this one comes to us from Godzilla26, who asked the question. I did get that name right, Godzilla26. Uh, go, yep, Godzilla 26, who asked the question, who will win a fight? Dark Side or Space Godzilla? I'm going to tell you right now, this is a short video. Um, Space Godzilla is a, a clone, technically, of Godzilla. What happened was, cells from Godzilla and Biollante's fight from the previous movie went into space, went into a black hole, and combined and evolved with some crystallized life forms to create, essentially, a evil space Godzilla. And it's one of the few kaiju who is actually kind of, um, uh, who's identified as having, uh, like, evil intent, like, who's legitimately trying to conquer the world. Um, and so therefore, the being is a crystallized version of Godzilla, though its mouth represents Biollante a bit more. Now, he has pretty much all the powers of a Godzilla. My fact, he's not a radioactive kaiju like many other kaiju. He's, he's based, he's in space. Uh, he, he formed in space, so he's crystalline based. Uh, he's got the giant protruding crystals on his shoulders. He can fire. Um, he's got a flower of telekinesis, uh, crystallized shielding. He's pretty durable, though he can't take too many hits from like direct hits. He's not very good in a uh, close quarters fight with a kaiju because kaiju because his arms are short. He can manipulate crystal, create and manipulate crystals. He does have his own energy attack. And he was actually able to pretty much whoop Godzilla's butt in their first fight until Godzilla got a power-up in the second time they fought. But here's the problem. For a kaiju, he's extremely powerful. Oh, and he can fly, too. Uh, but Dark Side is Dark Side. Let's be clear. Uh, Space Godzilla might be a very powerful monster, and even Dark Side could acknowledge in a fight. I'm going to just tell you right now, I don't have to go over Dark Side's abilities right now. Uh, because if you know this kind of fight, you're going to know who Darkseid is. Um, but, uh, you know, Dark... Let's say Space Godzilla somehow wound up on Apocalypse and was wreaking havoc. Darkseid is looking on and like, hmm, quite, uh, quite a nuisance. I don't I can, Quite a nuisance. And he just goes, like, you're quite the you're quite the formidable beast, and you seem actually more intelligent than you give anyone else this credit for. Uh, the credit for figuring out. I'd like to... And he'd probably actually make Space Godzilla a proposition. Honestly, in a real kind of comic scenario, Space Godzilla would probably recognize Darkseid and, and how strong he is and probably work for him just so he can, you know, get his kicks up. And Darkseid would probably welcome having a powerful minion like Space Godzilla. He's a giant kaiju that would t it would take a legitimate, um, like, super, real superhumans to take him down. You can't get someone like Batman to take him down. Granted, I'm not playing Batman, but you should see my point. Honestly, like, the Flash probably couldn't take Space Godzilla down, at least not without some um, trickery. You would need someone like a Superman, a Shazam, a Wonder Woman, someone in the upper tiers. Maybe not, like, the true up, up tiers, like the highest tiers, but someone in the upper tiers to take down Space Godzilla. Or someone with a unique power frame. Uh, but Darkseid, I mean, if they did fight, I mean, Space Godzilla would probably try firing an energy blast. Darkseid would probably just block it or just stand there or create a shield or something or teleport. Uh, I know, he'd probably just kind of monologue a bit, uh, you're, you seem more intelligent, you seem quite intelligent, and then, you know, Space Godzilla tries to telekinesis, but Darkseid just flicks it off. Here's the thing about the telekinesis, it's powerful to be able to move Godzilla, but he was moving very slowly, and it's not like anything was trying to disrupt the telekinesis, anyone who's got any sort of, like, high willpower, ability to break through force fields, their own form of telekinesis could easily counter that. Um, and then really all Darkseid would have to do, because physically he can smack Superman around. Uh, and Superman is strong enough with aid to move a planet. So, and that's, I mean, that is actually on the higher feats of Superman, but still not the highest feat of Superman. Like in the, uh, like All-Star Superman, his record was 60, uh, 66 quintillion tons. Um, uh, no, that, that wasn't his actual record, that was after he got dipped in the sun. The point is he was able to lift that much. Uh, and that was a record he had had for a while. So he had a limitation, though Superman obviously has fewer limitations than most uh, due to, you know, unfair writing. <laughs> so Darkseid, and this is Darkseid is a guy who can easily bitch smack, I'll have Superman around quite a bit. Uh, so really, physically, he's more than strong enough to take on Space Godzilla and just whoop him. 
Well, if you really wanted to make him just go away, all you have to do is just fire an Omega Beam at him and make him disintegrate. Now, to be fair, the shield of Space Godzilla could maybe counter the Omega Beams to a minor extent. Like, it'd be able to... Because he can make the shield reappear, everything along those lines, multiple times. So, you know, as long as the shield's being put up, Darkseid can, you know, he'll block Darkseid's attack. But Darkseid can fire several Omega Beams at once that are fast enough to catch the Flash. Um, they're said to move basically near instantaneously. So, yeah, Space Godzilla could probably block a couple of them, but ulti and ultimately the problem is they're too fast. And this is just one of the ways Darkseid beats Space Godzilla. They're too fast. Um, he can fire multiples at once, and they do different things if they hit you. They can incinerate you, just wipe you from existence, fire, send you through time. They can just concussive blasts of energy. They can do whatever Darkseid wants them to do. So... Yeah, uh, the shield might hold a little bit, but ultimately Darkseid would win pretty quick. And also, Dar Space Godzilla has pr a couple really defined weaknesses. His skin is easily um, susceptible, bleh, susceptible to uh, Godzilla's atomic breath. Well, is there, the original breath is more resistant to it. The red spiral death ray, oh no, he, he got his ass whooped by that. Uh, but the crystals on his shoulders are like big generators for his power. You'd blow those up. And then you pretty much beat him, uh, because he's severely weakened at that point. Anyway, it doesn't really matter long term, because Darkseid is literally a god. Space Godzilla is just a very intelligent, for his series, powerful kaiju. It's not really a contest. Darkseid, and that's just the Avatar Darkseid, the real Darkseid that exists in a completely separate dimension, is technically an ethereal being. If his true, true form ever actually breached our universe, it would destroy our universe, so... Yeah, it, I'm, I'm, it, it's a fun thing to think about. You know, I'd love to see, like, Cartoon Fight Club or Help Death Battle. I know Death Battle would never do this one. But Cartoon Fight Club or, or like, uh, Rewind, was it, Re, yeah. Animation Rewind Rumble or just Rewind, wow, Rewind Rumble. Try saying that ten times fast. Uh, rewind Rumble. Re rumble, 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 rumble. Um, I'd love to see them animate it. That'd be fun. Unfortunately, I'm not one of those guys who can animate it. If I could, eh, that would be a big thing. If I could ever animate my fights, I would do that in a heartbeat. That granted, I'd be dealing with a lot more uh, copyright issues, but uh, than I do. But if I could start animating my fights, I I would consider it. That said, I'd have that's that you would be getting my fights a lot less frequently than you do. So you'd be training the frequency I do it for for probably a much better video, admittedly. Uh, so, if I ever did get around to that, that would be something, um, you know, to think about, I guess. Or, you know, maybe try... Get, uh, actually, animation animation's not easy. So, the fact that people can do it and do it as well as they do uh, is impressive. So, yeah. Um, anyway, though, yeah, it's Dark Side wins the fight. It's 100% of the time. There's no legitimate way I think Space Godzilla could win. Now, if anyone wants to try to make a sound argument on that, that's fine. I always get people who try to make arguments, but their arguments sometimes don't make any sense. I still remember <laughs> one of the biggest arguments I, I, I've i seen people make on one of them. And I'm not pointing out the name. If you want to go look up the name on the video, that's fine. When I did Saitama versus Alien X from Ben 10, people were just like, Saitama blew up a meter. He totally one-shots uh, Alien X. What are you talking about? Are you serious? He just blew up a meter. It's like, you do realize Alien X warps reality and survived the destruction of a universe around him without being scathed, right? <laughs> um, the meteor feat is... Let's say my body is the total of feet. The meteor feat is not even equivalent to my thumbnail. The, the meteor feat compared to Alien X is maybe half my thumbnail? Okay, this is all of Alien X, half a thumbnail is what Saitama did. Now, I've heard people also make the arguments like, Saitama defeated God. Here's the thing about that whole Saitama fighting God thing. Okay, hold on. I want to look that up again real quick. Because I need to, I need to, just, yeah, Saitama versus God. Because I've seen this. Saitama versus God. The threat stronger than One Punch Man. And say, so, okay. Um, is this a video? No, it's on YouTube. All right. Uh, where is this Saitama versus God crap? Because here's the thing, God, and in that, uh, okay, so God and One Punch Man, and I know I'm off the uh, kilter at this point, his first appearance, God, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, referred to as the Homeless Emperor. Uh, he's so far only shown up in the Monster Saga, um, 
uh, uh, a human he has no reason to die given the thing. After Homeless Emperor's defeat, the entity appears in his mind with only his appearance being changed to colossal giant flesh and fractured bone. It's an exp it's expression of frustration of Homeless Emperor and takes away his power. So essentially, um, yeah, the Homeless Emperor... So God has not actually appeared in One Punch Man. Um, this whole Saitama versus God thing, I think is one of those fan-made like Doshin uh, things. Saitama versus God, I thought stronger than Saitama and One Punch Man. Yeah, I don't understand why people are using. I don't believe this is a legitimate thing. Um, this is like a fan made, a very well done fan made. Thing. Like it looks legit from everything I can say, uh, tell. But at the same time, again, I don't believe this is a real. Um, yeah, uh, Saitama versus God images may be subject to cover. I'm, I'm still because I'm keep I'm finding a lot of this on like Reddit and stuff. But when I go to the, at least, because let's be honest, yes, it's it's a wiki, but it's the One Punch wiki. Anything that's legitimately happened in One Punch Man should be on this wiki. And as far as I can tell, uh, yeah, right there, it's a doujin. It's not a real thing. It, it's something, it's a fan-made thing people did. Now, don't be wrong, I've seen a lot of doujins. Uh, I believe, I, I think that's the pronunciation. Doujins, doujins. Those family ones, those those look legit. Like people who with actual like um, animate animation, uh, artistic uh, ability, they make them look good. They make them look legitimate. But it's a fan comic. You can't use that as a legitimate argument. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Um. Anyway, <laughs> sorry I went on a rant there, a uh, little tangent there. But I always love it when people try to make uh, arguments for some of the dumb. Uh, don't get me wrong. If you if you like support your character, that's great. Absolutely more power to you. But try to be reasonable about it because you just make yourself look like a fanboy. It's like that person who, uh, recently who says like, "Oh, you always put Hinata on Team uh, uh, Team Seven. You're not just a Naruto Hinata and Naruto." It's like, okay, no, I usually pair up Naruto Hinata and my Wattas because nothing deviated from the story to change that. But in terms of like the most current what if I got going on right now. She's on Team 7 because I felt that it was cool to put her on Team 7 in that regard. So, just get your insult right if you're going to insult me. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> really, the, the video didn't go long, go to so very long, so I could have just rambled for a while. Anyway, I digress. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know we'll do a review of at some point in 90s for would win. Star Wars, Superhero Magic, what if anything you do in the channel. Put that in the comments below. Let me know. I'll get to that at some point. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.